What's up guys, Wonderbro. It has been a while since I have posted a mental health video on the channel, and today I want to talk a little bit about that. The title of this video will be something along the lines of um, escape, not needing an escape. I'm also having a little smoke. Not needing to escape. Because here's the thing, pretty much in every case of anxiety and panic, you feel this overwhelming urge to escape, am I right? You just want to get out of there. And the thing about that is you don't need an escape, guys. You don't need a way out. You don't need a way to stop this thing. It is the desire to stop it and the desire to escape that gives you more of the feelings you're trying to escape. I'll say that again. It is your desire to escape or to be able to stop the feelings that you're feeling that gives you more of the feelings that you don't want and um, and that's what the cycle is really all about guys I'll give you some example of why you don't need an escape number one you have to understand that when it comes to the method I preach of accepting loosening accepting and dealing with anxiety and recovering from it when it comes to my method you have to understand that the body is limited on how much adrenaline and how much of those feelings that it can produce during a panic attack that are so awful it is limited to how much of that it can produce. And if you were to just accept it, it would run its course and be over in no time, whether or not you escaped. It's not about the situation that you're in. There is nothing about being outside if you're agoraphobic. There is nothing about being in a public crowd if you have social anxiety. There is nothing about those situations themselves that cause you anxiety. You cause your anxiety by feeling as if you need a way out or to escape because of your fear of fear. So you don't need an escape. If you're agoraphobic, and this is just an example, if you go out out of your comfort zone to do something you have to do, or if you're just challenging yourself, whatever, and you get there and you feel like you need to escape because a panic attack's about to come on, there is nothing about that situation or place that is directly causing that panic. It is your desire to escape. And if you would just stay in it and not escape, you would realize that the panic or anxiety sooner or later passes because it is limited. Whether you get out and back to your comfort zone or not, the anxiety and panic will pass. If you were trapped under an avalanche for seven, seven days, the anxiety and panic would eventually run its course and pass. Regardless, it can't go on forever. And we make the mistake of escaping, running back home, you know, when we feel anxious or panicky because we think that's gonna stop the panic. The only reason you stopped panicking when you got home was not because you made it to your comfort zone it was because the anxiety and panic ran its course because it is limited and then you start to think you start to think the wrong thing though you start to think it passed because i made it home it passed because i made it back to my safe place my comfort zone but it didn't pass because of that it passed because it always passes regardless so you start to get the wrong idea so you, you don't need, that is a huge mistake, okay? You don't need to do that. You need to stay in these situations until the panic and anxiety passes because it's not getting back to your comfort zone that will make this anxiety and panic pass. It is staying in the situation and letting it naturally pass. Don't get it confused. Don't start to develop a safe zone or a comfort zone because you think it's helping. It's not actually helping the anxiety and panic just pass on their own on the car ride home while you're panicking and freaking out you finally get to your comfort zone and you think oh now i can feel better no you're not feeling better because you made it back you're feeling better because the anxiety and the panic passed and it always does so stay in these situations you don't need an escape for anxiety and panic to pass they will do that whether you're here there there wherever you are it'll pass regardless so you don't need an escape and that is a horrible horrible habit to get into and it's actually what develops agoraphobia so no escape guys you don't need an escape you need to just accept the feelings of anxiety stop looking for a way out stop looking for a cure stop looking for any other method than the method i preach on this channel which is acceptance that sounded really country. Did that sound really? That sounded really country too. My country accent's kicking in pretty hard today. Ignore that. Anyway, guys, yeah, you don't need a way out, a cure, an escape plan, anything like that. 
what you need to do is realize acceptance is key, dedication to acceptance is key, and just let these feelings be what they want to be, because it's you, in the end, who are keeping these feelings alive with your worries and your stress and your mind. You're telling your body there's something wrong that you need to fix, and it's giving you these feelings. And when you start using acceptance, you will accomplish the complete opposite. And you will notice that in time, it gets better and better until you're on top of the world again, guys. So quick video today, just wanted to make that point. You don't need an escape. Really helpful video if you're agoraphobic, but can be helpful for anybody with anxiety and panic. So I hope you guys take that to heart. Like, subscribe, share, share me with friends, family, people who suffer that you know who suffer, who need help. Do whatever. It really helps me out, guys. And until next time, stay awesome.